Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Moss Valley Zoo, our new franchise mode here on the channel. We are playing uh, the franchise mode in a hard mode. Uh, so yeah, join me on our adventure. This is our second episode. In the first episode, we have built a lovely little, uh, you know, enclosure for the binturongs. The binturongs are here. I can actually unpause the game. Uh, so you can see they are using their climbing frames. Uh, one of them, I think, is already pregnant. So we uh, are expecting some uh, small, little, cute binturongs. Yeah, and it's... They are coming, so they will be in here in a second. So yeah, uh, we are doing quite well. The, as you can see, we are earning money uh, still. So yeah, <laughs> everything is fine. Uh, we are not going bankrupt just yet. Oh, here is our little Benterong. Can you see, like, what is it? We have the... We have actually two of them or even three, okay. Three of them, yeah, so perfect. We'll be, we'll be able to sell them or maybe I will save one uh, because our male is actually quite old, so maybe I will save the male. Their genes are not too well, <laughs> but oh, this one is quite nice. So we have one female, second, this is a male, and this is also a male, so if we want to leave one, I think it will be the male actually. Okay, so... Uh, I realized, oh sorry, I was testi testing some things and you know, uh, I realized that we didn't place any uh, education signs for them, uh, so we should definitely do it because uh, I know the higher the education marking is, the more the guests are uh, giving us uh, in the donations, so we should uh, totally add those things to our zoo. I think that for now, I will just add, you know, those boards and when we will have more money in the future, I will actually do something uh, cooler, like some custom things. But now I think that this will be uh, totally like okay to have it, like here, here and okay, I think it's fine. So let's, uh, of course, add a binturong in here. So the guests will know what they are looking at if they don't know the species. And of course we can also add the speaker. Uh, maybe a lot of guests are here so I'll put it... Okay, right now I think I just put it randomly like so. But on the later stage I will actually make it prettier. The range... Okay, it's quite good. So now we have our little education for the binturongs as you can see i still haven't like made anything with the shops i will make it in the future but right now let's focus on the things that i want to add in today's episode so i figure out that we have to add some animals that actually breed well so we can be we will be able to sell the babies for the conservation credits we have some of them but it's not too much and i figure out that the animal that i want to add is actually an african ostrich so yeah we'll add the ostrich today and maybe if the episodes won't be too long, because I think our first episode was a bit longer, it was like 15 some, 50 something minutes, so uh, I know you guys uh, probably don't have as much time to watch such long episodes, so I will definitely try to make this one a bit shorter. So yeah, let's add the ostriches in here to to die today, sorry, and maybe, just maybe, I will also have time to add some uh, some small exhibit species. You guys actually suggested that I should have some in the zoo, so uh, yeah, let me just do it. And when we were actually earn money from those animals I will start to work on this area here I will also add the things that we are still missing so the quarantine the research center the workshop the vet surgery we still need all those things right now the binturongs are actually fine they are not sick or anything so we don't need those things and hopefully it will stay uh, that way 
So guys, I will actually do some terraforming now uh, because I don't want this zoo to be flat. We are building in taiga biome. I thought of it like a zoo, zoo in some you know mountain region or something. So we are not going for a flat zoo. And I think that I will do the terraforming actually off the camera. I will. I want to build something like nice for the ostriches here uh, because it will it will be just quicker and the episode will be shorter and you know it is. Nice nothing spectacular so I will do it now and I will go back to you when we will be building actual habitat so see you in a second okay so I am back and as you can see I came up with something like this it is not too crazy but uh, you know we want to start gently with our slopes and with our heels and then we'll go uh, bigger and bigger and uh, yeah, so let me just start by building the path for the gas. I think that we want to go in that direction and build like a little path in here. I'm not sure if the four meter path is a good idea at the beginning of the zoo, but I will try <laughs> and do my best to avoid the, uh, you know, the traffic jumps we have sometimes in this game okay so now i can actually change this path for the regular path for the gas and maybe okay so i did it a bit maybe like this one so the it won't be so curved okay now it's perfect so we have our guest path. I will fill this one, this thing with uh, uh, the foliage with some drinks and so on. It was trees, sorry, sorry, uh, with uh, you know shrubs and uh, and it will look very very nice. Uh, we actually got an award. Let me see. Okay, so we have five. Uh, we got some money, additional money. Really really nice. Uh, let me just say the. Tickets are underpriced. It's a very, very good uh, message. I think that I will make maybe seven and five dollars for now. Okay, and now we are good. So let's build the ostrich habitat. Uh, I will actually think I will use this barrier again because it looks good for me to use it in an ostrich habitat. Also, I don't want to use it too close uh, to the actual... I don't want to place it too close to the actual path because I want to, like, later add my own custom, like, small fence for the guests because I just simply like it because I think it always looks so much more natural with those, uh, you know, uh, fences for guests. I don't know if this habitat will be too large <laughs> probably it will be but uh we'll have we can have more ostriches then and you can never have too many ostriches right <laughs> so yeah right now it looks like this maybe i will replace uh you know some parts of this uh fence with rocks or something uh, let me add the entrance or gates to it and then also a path to connect it okay it's looking quite nice i think uh nothing too crazy uh, but yeah let me just change the terrain slightly uh we'll do the soil uh i always find it hard uh building when there's a lot of you know this long grass because uh, you cannot see well how the terrain is uh like modules maybe it's a bit like too steep okay yeah probably it is but i want to add also a hut or a shelter for them somewhere so i probably should have more of the flat terrain maybe in here i will add it add it Okay, and now we can smooth it out. Maybe also do this thing. 
I love this tool. You can make those like really cool slopes with this. If you don't know it, definitely learn to uh, use it because it is like a lifesaver in going for gentle slopes actually because it is sometimes hard to make them more gentle without this tool. And with it, you can just do it like that. And let's say like this and now smooth it out and it will look all so much like more gentle not so steep okay it's a mountain zoo in the mountains so i think we can actually go for a habitat like this uh, maybe i will like destroy the fence in here for a second Oh, let me say hi to this person because we'll get some additional, uh, yeah, some little reward for it. Now the tickets are overpriced. Oh my God. Like, can you please decide? Okay. Let's do it like this. Uh, yeah. So here's our ostrich habitat. And now let's build some lovely shelter for them i'm not sure if they want it if they need it but i sure i still want to give them one uh because i think it would just look cool in my local zoo the uh which is basically in the in poland in temperate biome uh so we get those you know cold winters uh the ostriches definitely have their own shelter so yeah i want to give them that here as well uh Okay, I think that this size will be completely enough for them. Um, let me put it in here and flood the terrain a bit so that, yeah, it is what happened. Okay, so now let me just actually maybe add an ostrich to this habitat so I can see if we are not making any mistakes with the you know uh, scaling because it can occur in the middle that we have too small or too large uh, habitat shelter and so on so let me find a nice ostrich so we can add it, add it. Uh, common ostrich uh, not in my storage sorry uh, Okay, we actually have some albinos, one, albinos, but maybe I'll go for a regular one. Oh, this is quite nice and it's... Okay, let's buy it. <laughs> it was quick. So yeah, let's add it here and wait before we get some females. Where is my ostrich? Come on. Okay, so as you can see, we have now uh, around three, 230 guests and we are earning money. We actually have more than we had at the beginning, so it is a very good sign. Uh, I hope that we'll be able to keep it up in the same, uh, you know... Okay, I already said hi to this person, yeah. So I hope that we'll be able to, you know, continue in this way, like to earn money. Uh, obviously, we'll see what will happen by, what happen by, but I am quite hopeful for it. Okay, so give us our ostrich. Okay, so this ostrich is looking like this and the habitat, I think it is perfect. Maybe the shelter should be actually a bit bigger because it looks a bit small comparing to the ostrich. Okay, so let me just move those things. I always, when I build, I like, you know, right away pause the game. It's just like a habit from the sandbox mode. Here probably it's not, but maybe now if we have this ostrich in here. Yeah, so I will maybe, okay, I will leave it on pause. We still have, no, let me decide because I don't know what to do. Okay, I will uh, actually send it back to the trade center. I will work on this habitat a bit more. And then I will add it uh, again. So yeah, let me just flatten the terrain in here. 
Let me add soil so we don't have this grass in here. And now let's add to this building. Let's add the uh, flooring and so on. Concrete, my favorite floor with a very cool pattern. Um, okay, we probably should do it like this. Of course, it is always sticking out. Okay, I actually did the mistake I do really frequently, so I didn't put it in the right position. Okay, now it's perfect. And of course, we have to sp have to split this thing from the group to move it so it doesn't stick out. Okay, now it is perfect. And what I want to do today, uh, of course, it's also like a cabin in the woods, but maybe uh, let's do something prettier than last time. Ne last time, maybe we will actually do this thing with the uh, with those locks, uh, with this wall set of walls. Uh, so let me just add it. Here. Okay, uh, I think the height will be actually quite okay for them. Okay. Yeah, it is looking quite good. I like it. And now let's add, add maybe. Okay. I want to add like a slope roof for sure, but I'm not sure how I want to do it. Maybe like this, or oh, let's see what. Oh, okay, clean less education. Of course, we are just starting. Uh, so what we also uh, let me just check what we have still in here education okay guest numbers we are going there uh, and adopted two different exhibit species actually we'll do it I think in this habit in this uh, episode but let me focus on building because I don't want this episode to be too long as I told you okay I will have to change it because I don't like how it is going so this this perfect let me just move it in here of course it doesn't want to be moved where i want it ah sometimes i love this game so i have to do it manually oh okay and okay and i still need to fit this gap Okay, it is looking nice. Uh, so now let me add the slate roof to it because it's my favorite roof to use in such. Okay, let me actually do it maybe even like this. So we will add some little so cool details to it. Okay. I'm so not used uh, to it that, you know, it actually gets dark <laughs> in the franchise modes. I didn't experience it much in the sandbox mode because I always like adjust, you know, the sun uh, to the angles that I am building so I can see uh, things in the best lights that it is possible. Okay, it is quite nice for such a quick build. I think we are nailing it. Okay, let me add this one for some nice views, like nice detail. Okay, I actually quite like it. It is very simple, as I told you. Maybe actually I will add a window in here. Whoa. Okay, I don't like how it is looking. I don't have any other choice because I think it kind of looks 
weird. Okay. So now let's add some logs. Log, actually, I wanted to say. Uh, okay, and I don't want to align it. And let's do it like this to support uh, this roof. And one should probably be in the middle. Okay, do I like it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let me just now do maybe something like this so we could have, you know, uh, Okay, it would look even nicer with this detail. I'm still like, I'm looking still on the finances and I'm still seeing that we are earning, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay, so right now, maybe let's make it a bit higher. Perfect. Yeah, we have our little shelter. I should probably, you know, add doors and so on, but maybe I will do it later. Uh, after we are finished with the episode, so this won't be like too long. Okay, so let me add uh, some beddings for them. Okay, it is looking still quite good. So let me just pretend that the shelter is actually finished. I would love it to, you know, stop raining so we could focus on building, but I think that we don't have any choice. Maybe right now I will add, uh, you know, some things for the os uh, reach. Oh my God, I cannot, okay. Uh, so yeah, for sure we need a bowl for them. Maybe I will add it somewhere, you know, near the actual fence so the guests will be able to see them. We need a water pipe. I always like to add it near the wall so it doesn't look so weird, like sticking out of the ground. Okay, so let's add the water pipe. Yeah, it is looking quite nice. Uh, and then what we also need are some enrichment items. Maybe I will add actually the forage box in here. I know it will destroy a terrain and I will hide it nicely. Uh, also, I like this toy. They are really, really nice. You know, animals always look nice when they are playing with it. So. Let's add it somewhere there and maybe also let's give them uh, this thing so they will use the entire habitat. Okay, and I think I also want to add maybe... Maybe it will be enough because, you know, we don't want to bore animals. Maybe, okay, I will add that bowl uh, in here as well. So now let's actually add our ostrich and see what it actually likes. It will be easier for us to build a nice value destination. Okay, because I actually destroyed the... Uh, where is the barrier? Here. Okay, I actually, you know, uh, destroyed the barriers to build this shelter. Oh, I didn't mean to do it. So let me just add a null barrier in here. Like so, okay, and now we can send in our ostrich, where are you, here, okay, I have to smooth out the terrain in the places where I added some enrichment, I don't know if you want to do it, we can do it, okay, because it always creates some, this like silly, things with the terrain when you add, you know, the enrichment items. Okay, also as uh, I always do, I want to uh, change the color of the barrier to something more natural. 
uh, maybe I will do like the... Okay, why doesn't it change? Okay, now it's fine. And right away it looks so much better. Okay, so we have our ostrich here. Uh, let's start with the terrain. It needs more uh, short grass, actually. So let's give it more short grass. Maybe, you know, in the front here. Some in here. And actually maybe some more in here. Then it likes also a long grass. So I'll add some here and less soil. We can actually... And maybe add some rock in some places like here and here and it will look nicer okay yeah it's looking good to me okay so let's actually now pause the game we have a lot of money actually I am surprised and let's add some, uh, you know, plants for it. It actually doesn't need plant, but I still like to add some. Of course, we won't be able to go as crazy as I want to, but uh, yeah. Uh, let me just do... Uh, of course, it likes uh, plants for Africa and it's grassland and the desert. So maybe let's check what actually plants are what plants are in there and maybe we'll be able to use some of them that will look uh, quite you know natural in this biome but I don't think that we'll have so too many options actually uh, for us for this zoo okay I have this grass and I love it so I will add it for sure I have this tree this tree also looks quite nice in every biome I can I have to say so definitely I will add some of them in here. Uh, maybe this bigger one. And then this, this one maybe in here. Okay, and we are still like almost done with our <laughs> plant possibilities. Okay, we can add actually those bushes and they are very nice. So I definitely want to add them. Uh, I love those bushes actually. So yeah, it is looking nicer right away with some plants. Uh, I love plants, so yeah, let's add. I always like to build, you know, from the guest perspective, so you can see how the guests will actually, what view they will have to the habitat. Uh, okay, so the suit, mm, it's quite okay, but yeah, let me focus on the grass actually. I will add some of this grass in here. I cannot go too crazy with our with the plant needs of our uh, ostrich guy. Uh, maybe let's add actually some um, of the small rocks and then I will add the grass. I already know which one I can add. Okay. So I always love to add those stones they make everything look so nice okay so yeah guys uh this is actually i am posting this video on sunday uh, and tomorrow we will have if i'm not like wrong we'll have a, a new uh, dlc so yeah next episode in this zoo we'll probably add you know new animals from the new dlc uh so i hope they won't be too expensive <laughs> you know uh in the uh, trading center because i know that every time the new dlc is released uh, the prices for the new animals are very high because obviously everyone is buying them uh, but yeah, let's hope that we'll be able to buy some for our zoo. Uh, okay, I actually think that I want to change the color of those because they look quite weird uh, in here. So let me do it quickly. Of course, once again, this episode will be... Okay, so maybe actually I will redo it all because I won't be able to do it, to click it probably very quickly. So what color do we want? I will actually maybe go and 
do some adjusting, like why we don't want it to be. Okay, I think that co this color is looking nicer, but let me just try and make it more maybe gray than... Okay, this is perfect. Yeah, so let's add quickly those uh, stones. Let's add some more grass and so on. And uh, we will actually be finished with this habitat. I will also add, as you know, the education and so on. I will add some details, of course, still, because it is still quite plain, but still it's a franchise mode. So what you can expect from this build, we want to have the, you know, the animals to be happy basically and they won't be happy if they will have too many plants or too too small enclosures because of all the things that we have in the uh in the exhibit i can actually give them this log maybe i think it will look nice so let's do something like this in here Okay, and maybe some more rocks around it. Yeah, and right away it is looking better. So let me add this new grass from the uh, Africa Park in here. It always suits to all the exhibits, no matter the biome. So although it is from Africa, it's looking good everywhere. So let me add it quickly. I have to do something about this forage box uh, still. Okay. Okay, yes, yeah, still it is looking so much better now with all this grass, all this foliage. Maybe also we are missing something in here, so let me just add some temperate rocks to this habitat. Um, okay, because this site is looking quite weird. The way, the times that I'm saying okay in this video is actually alarming. <laughs> I should go and find another word because I'm saying okay to everything. Uh, I hope you guys like are not tired of me saying okay, okay. But yeah, I'm trying. I'm just staying, you know, focused and talking at the same time. And it is quite hard, uh, as I must say. I didn't expect it to be... Uh, to heart, I am. F I thought that I am actually better at multitasking, but it all occurs that I am not as good. So yeah, a little lock rock formation, just you know, quickly done. Nothing too special because I didn't like this plain uh, corner in here. So maybe let's add this rock, and maybe let's add something on in here, like so, and which. Stone is also nice, so this one is quite nice. Okay, and maybe I'll also add those stones somewhere in here to make it look nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and maybe also something in this corner. Maybe also something in here because we have like this very steep edge in here and I want to kind of use it as the cliff or a rock work rock uh, the play perfect place to put the rock basically yeah okay Okay, so our quick, very quick <laughs> habitat for our ostriches is actually finished. Maybe I will also add more of this grass. Of course, I cannot click it while I need it. Uh, so, uh, grass. Uh, let me actually see if it's not too much already. No, it's not. So I can add some more. Uh, 
Okay, let me add some here so it's looking nicer. Let me add just some in here, maybe something in here. And something maybe in here. Okay, and still I need to do something quickly about this forage box because I don't like those edges, as I told you. In my speed build video videos, we always hide them in the terrain or using the rocks because they are hideous. Okay, it's not working too well. Oh, maybe it starts to work. Okay, so let's do it like this. The animals will still be able to use it and it is looking so much better, basically. Okay, let me just click to this thing and now let's add some uh, temperate rocks to make like the edges of it look nicer okay where is this rock I would like to use this one because it has this like sharp edge to it Okay, and maybe also add this one. I need to be careful, you know, so the animals will still be able to go in there. But I think that they will be able to do it without any problem. Maybe I will also, like, add a little more rock. Uh, like texture around it to make it look like look better okay and maybe let's add quickly some more of this grass or maybe I will actually do this is it still okay Mr. Ostrich tell me it's okay yeah, it's still okay. And when I will and pause the game, it is still okay. Yeah. And let me just see if we actually if we can we use it. It can use it. Perfect. Okay. So now I need to simply buy some females. Let me see uh, how actually big the herd or group or a pack of estrogens it can be. So we can have eight. Okay. So maybe let's add like. Three of them like how much space do, does it actually require and how much do, do we have uh, okay so hmm. let me add actually uh, I'll say two or three females okay so I need a female Oh no, why is it always only like... I didn't want to buy an albino, I don't know why, I simply... Okay, I like albino animals, but I think that it is so like weird to have all of a sudden a white ostrich in our like park, small park in the forest. Actually, we have, you know, white ostrich, but... We don't have any other choice, as I can see. Okay, there's one. Okay, it is still good. It's like not, it's not like the best, but it's not white, at least. <laughs> okay, so maybe let's buy one of those white ones. At least I, we can sell it for more, I think. And maybe we'll have something more. No, all of them are white. Why? Okay, maybe we'll go back later. So now let's add some donation boxes. In here. So we will be able to collect money. Uh, let's add some branches. Benches, sorry, I always say branches. I don't know why. Uh, let's add some beans. 
So it's all clean and tidy. And of course, our education things, education boards, the things that we forgot last time, actually. Uh, one, two, and three. And let's change it to the common ostrich. Okay, this one is actually out of the power range, so let me see how much the... Okay, so it ends in here. So let's maybe move it for now in this position and later we'll actually, when we add the generator, we'll be able to... Okay, so we have four 300 guests, so I can have my reward. And basically our ostrich habitat is done. Uh, the third ostrich is on the way. Let me just check again if we have any normal ostriches. Not, no, maybe, okay. I will wait and see if there'll be another one in the future in here. Uh, it annoys me, <laughs> this sticking out thing in here. Okay, and it's not right away better. So our third ostrich is coming, actually. Uh, let me actually see if our staff uh, has high workload, as I thought. They are, have all high workload. So maybe I will actually train the staff. Maybe it's not, I think it might be uh, too soon, but... Okay, I will do it anyway. Uh, and let me also hire uh, vendors so that they can actually change where they are working. Because we'll for sure add more shops uh, very soon. And let's see how we are with the... Okay, it's quite nice. And maybe we'll stay with just three ostriches. So yeah, I love how is this habitat is looking. Actually, it's very simple, but I think it looks nice. Okay, so I think that I will add some details uh, like to this habitat of the camera, not to make this video too long, and I will be back for you with you guys uh, very, very, very soon. Okay, so I am back. As you can see, all I did was add all of those trees in the back so you have a really nice background for this habitat. I also added this fence for gas. It is the new fence that was added with uh, the new update from the Africa Park. And I added some more uh, like plants in here just for it to look good. I actually needed to be careful because uh, you know the uh, ostriches like detected this plant as their habitat plant. So I didn't want it. Uh, yeah, so this is how our ostrich habitat is looking. I don't think that we have any more time today to add anything more. I don't want this episode to be uh, too long, but I think that we did a pretty good job. I also added like the gate uh, to our shelter. I can show you in here and a window. So they then they have this really nice view actually uh, in here. So yeah, this is how our habitat for the ostriches is looking right right now. Uh, like uh, I can actually up and pause the game so we earn uh, money. We are actually now uh, the money is going down, but okay, we are earning. Goof, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is our uh, ostrich habitat as I can, as I told you. In the next episode, as I told you guys, we'll add a new animal from the new uh, North America animal pack. I still haven't decided which one, but we'll definitely do so. Uh, and what I wanted to do, and I actually forgot, is to make this fence a little lower because they actually don't need such a high fence, I think. Maybe I'll also only do it like in the front. Uh, but yeah, what I also wanted to say is that uh, I forgot to tell you guys in our first episode that actually I am super open to uh, using your blueprints in this uh, zoo. So if you have any blueprints or if you want to create something for this zoo, that is, uh, you know, uh, in this uh, style of, uh, you know, cabin in the woods, like uh, buildings made from basically woods, uh, logs and so on in this mountain style, you can definitely like send me 
Windows blueprints uh, on, uh, for example, you can comment uh, here or you can just uh, under the video or you can just send me it in the direct message on my Instagram or you can simply name the blueprint when you upload it with my name Caesar Creates or with the name of the zoo, uh, the Mons Valley Park or sorry, Mos Valley Zoo. I don't even know the name of my own zoo. So yeah, this is the Mos Valley Zoo. Uh, and I will search for the blueprints and I will definitely download it and use it here. It will be so much easier for me and, you know, so much quicker to use your blueprints. I really like how this habitat is looking. Yeah, I, for like making it so like uh, mm, short, in such a short time, I think it looks really, really nice. And yeah, this is how our cute little zoo is coming along. Uh, I'm sure that we need to work on this uh, thing here because it is ugly, but we'll make it work in the future. So yeah, this is all that I have for you today. Uh, the next episode of our uh, franchise mode will be up next year, uh, next, not the year, mode, well, my god, my, my English is broken today, sorry guys. So the next episode will be up next week, uh, so definitely uh, stay tuned if you want to see it. And for now, I'm saying goodbye. If you uh, enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Uh, comment down below if you liked our little uh, ostrich habitat today uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time i upload a new video and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys